Imagine it's 2021, and Magnus Carlsen has already won three previous World Rapid Championships, and he is ready to win another one. He's playing exceptionally well, and sits in first place in the tournament. However, on the second place is a slayer of grandmasters, a 17-year-old Nodirbek from Uzbekistan. He's young, hungry for victory, and chasing Magnus to catch him in the final game. Here's one interesting fact. Magnus Carlsen became a Grandmaster at the age of 13 years, 4 months, and 27 days, while No Deerbeck became a Grandmaster at 13 years, 1 month, and 11 days. So can the young blood defeat the reigning world champion? Let's watch together. Since the very beginning, this match promised to be an epic battle. No Deerbeck started with C4, which forced Magnus to think for 20 seconds about how to respond. He decided to play knight f6, and after a few moves, we have an English opening on the board with four knights ready for battle. After that, Nodirbek played e4, and Magnus responded with bishop b4. After a few developing moves, we have the first important moment in the game when Magnus offered a queen trade to his opponent. But the young prodigy was smart enough to decline and decided to save his queen for the endgame. Magnus then played g5, launching an attack on the castled king. After exchanging pieces, Magnus tried to trade queens again, but it was declined once more. This young guy had his own plans for this game and was pushing with his pawn, which Magnus had to protect with his rook. One step from promotion, young opponent showed Magnus that he was serious about winning this game. Magnus decided to trade pieces, but in that moment, he looked kinda lost. Now the young prodigy had a passer that could create serious threats on the board. Magnus desperately moved his knight, but quickly realized that he couldn't take that pawn because of the threatening check. Now the game slowly moved into the end game, and it's worth noting that 83 moves were played in this game. After some time, this little hero started his journey, and Magnus had to deal with it. There was an important moment where Magnus could have won the game. If he had played queen takes h5, forcing his opponent to take his queen, Magnus could have created a beautiful fork, winning queen and pawn on a3. But Magnus played f5, and after a few more moves, his young opponent started checking Magnus. He definitely decided to play for the win. Now it was time for Magnus to check White's king until move 80 when there were no more checks. You know what wins the game when there are no more checks? You are right. The queen's trade. Having only one second left on the clock, Magnus moved his pawn, realizing that it was a brutal mistake. Now his opponent offers queen trade, and that means the game is over. The king was dead. Long live the king. The 17-year-old prodigy from Uzbekistan wins the main trophy, showing the whole world that young blood is already in business. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and press that like button below. See you in the next videos.